In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a super cool holographic sticker effect using Adobe Illustrator. It's easier than it looks, and by the end, you'll have a shiny futuristic design that's perfect for your next project. So grab a coffee or a tea, fire up Illustrator, and let's dive in. Okay, the first thing we need to set up are our colour swatches. We're going to use six colours that give us that holographic look. Here are the hex codes you want to set up so they're accessible within the swatches panel. Once you have those swatches ready, it's time to start creating the holographic effect. Start off by selecting the ellipse tool from the toolbar. Click anywhere within the artboard to bring up the width and height options window. And we'll make an ellipse that's exactly 400 by 400 pixels. Once the ellipse has been added to the artboard, just vertically and horizontally center the ellipse. Next, switch the solid fill to a stroke by clicking on the swap icon, then change the stroke colour from a solid colour to a gradient. And then from within the gradient panel, we're going to create a nine colour gradient by adding alternating black and white points to the gradient slider. Doesn't really matter whether you start with black or white, just make sure you end with the same colour you started with. Once you've finished adding the points to the gradient slider, simply click the apply gradient along the stroke. Increase the stroke size until the entire ellipse is filled, creating a complete circular shape. You'll see the gradient wraps around the stroke, giving us the desired gradient effect. Now let's lock this in by going to object, expand appearance. This converts the gradient into a mesh. After that, resize your ellipse back down to 400 by 400 pixels, just to keep everything neat and tidy. Then duplicate the ellipse by holding down the Alt key, clicking and dragging it to one side. Let's create another ellipse of 400 by 400 pixels, and then again vertically and horizontally center the ellipse. This time we'll fill it with a radial gradient by switching the solid fill over to a gradient fill. Then from within the gradient panel, switch the gradient type to radial. Add six points into the gradient slider, then use those six colors we set up earlier. Add each one to the gradient slider, spacing them out evenly. Don't worry if it's not exact, a little variation adds character. Now select the gradient tool from the toolbar and starting from the left edge of the ellipse, drag outwards to adjust the gradient. This makes the center of the gradient start from the left edge, giving us that holographic light shift effect. We now need to stack the ellipses on top of each other. Start by placing the radial gradient ellipse at the bottom, then bring in one of the black and white gradient ellipses you created earlier and stack it on top. Go to the transparency panel and change the blend mode of this ellipse to difference. Finally, add the last ellipse on top and set its blend mode to screen. This should give us that typical holographic look. To finish it off, let's add some black artwork, whether it's your logo or some text. Here's something I quickly knocked up earlier. Place it over the ellipse and adjust the opacity to about 75%. This ensures it blends nicely with the holographic effect without overpowering it. And there you have it. You've just created a sleek holographic sticker effect in Adobe Illustrator. This technique is perfect for making your design stand out with that shiny holographic look. Thanks for following along and I hope you have fun creating this effect. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one.